boy. It's time to finally do this, sucker. So, let's begin. Good luck! You're gonna need it. Yeah, that's your tip for this level. That's the hint for the level. Okay, Stormy Ascent. Uh, it's advertised as a harder version of Slippery Climb, and it's most infamous because this level was cut from the original Crash Bandicoot. I mentioned this while doing Slippery Climb. Um, it was originally supposed to be in the original PSX Crash Bandicoot. It's technically still in the code and can be accessed with a game shark sheet. But the level itself was cut because the developers thought it was too hard and they didn't have time to make it easier, so they ultimately took it out of the game. That alone should give you an idea of what we're dealing with here. The only upside I can give this stage is it doesn't have a color gem, so I don't have to perfect it. I can make mistakes, even if I die a few hundred times, like, it's not the end of the world, because I don't have to redo the entire level if I die. I just have to redo the section that I'm at. Which, I can automatically give it bonus points for that, because fuck Slippery Climb for that. That was annoying as hell. This, from my understanding, is way worse than Slippery Climb, but I think it's more balanced in the regard that you don't have to do it in one shot, so... I'll give him credit for that. At least it's fair in terms of you have infinite tries. Or at least as many tries as you have lives, so... Luckily, I've got 99 more than max, so I should have around probably 160 or so. But yeah, it's mostly just playing it safe like I did with Slippery Climb. I understand that this stage does have a lot more tricky platforming to it, though. Like, you saw the rotating thing. Uh, there's some times where you actually have to switch your momentum, I believe, and just go whole hog or slow the fuck down. Oh, God! Yeah, that was, that was, that was delayed, so. Okay, like even these platforms, the speed is so fast, you have to jump ahead of time in order to make it work. Like I said though, it's like, I think the stage is more balanced and fair, just because you have infinite tries. Oh! That was a bad time to jump, jeez. I really need to stop, like, talking about how it's probably not that bad and actually focus on playing. Platform, let's go. Okay, that was... Okay, so you need this to be very specific. lives, that would be a little insane, but we'll see, I guess. Okay, now. Okay, the timing for this one. So I need to pay attention to the platform itself, because it goes into the wall pretty damn quickly. There we go. Token. Um, interestingly enough, for this stage, the embryo token, uh, it was originally planned to have an embryo stage, but they ended up, obviously, they never worked on it because the stage never got past the planning section. Okay, what do I do here? Um, oh, God! Good 
chunk of this seems to mostly just be like carefully slowing down and thinking the way through instead of rushing. Uh, from my understanding, though, there are some sections where it's better to rush. Like there, I can actually make that jump, so. Okay, that's fine, too. Oh. Okay. And now the game's giving me Aku Aku Mask because this is actually getting kind of annoying, but I'm still standing by my opinion. I just gotta get the feel of the level down. You can definitely see why they say this is the hardest stage in Crash, though, and why it was cut, because, god damn it, this actually is pretty damn treacherous. And I can definitely understand why they would have removed this like to make the stage a little bit easier because my god could you imagine if this was in the original game with the back controls of the original game oh god that would be horrible like the platforming of that would be like the most broken thing imaginable because crash's physics in the original were so wonky Jump when you're sliding. What? Have we got? God. what? Okay. What have we got? I don't know what happened there, but let's just get back into the flow, I guess. Try and get this back. Okay, so you can't be standing on a slidey slope or it disables your jump. Got it. Nine lives already, jeez. Come on, this isn't even the later parts of the stage. This is only the start. If I can't do this, then it's just gonna be even worse later on. Above the vultures, so don't be afraid to just go. No, 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 no! Okay. Right. You know what? I'll just take that. I'll just accept that. There's a checkpoint, boss. I will accept that just because. These ones are slightly delayed. in fact. That's actually kind of ridiculous. Your timing has to be perfect for that. Now I have no aqua pass, so I can't even slip up once. Oh man, this is gonna be bad. the game decides to give me another sacrificial mask just because I suck at the game. The problem here is you can't just, you can't jump to orient yourself because there's spikes of them. So you actually have to walk off.
Oh, that was a good jump. Okay. Okay, now. Um, I remember correctly, too, you have to jump as you approach. Yep. The embryo minigame. I'm hoping it's not that bad till I can make it to a checkpoint. Uh, what's this? Oh, jeez, what? What exactly does this expect? to jump on the TNT and then jump last second. I see. Okay, that is the hellish bonus stage. Now, if I could get a checkpoint box, I would be super grateful. Please and thank you. I really don't want to have to have this kind of problem again. Oh, my. Okay, so scientist guy's going to throw freaking slime at me. And I'm going up. Fantastic. Can I please get a checkpoint box? I would really appreciate a checkpoint box. I really don't want to have to do that bonus minigame again if I uh, screw up. Go. No! Oh. oh! Please 
please don't tell me. Okay, good. It let me. Oh, the bonus acted as a check. Thank you. Thank you, game. That is nice. Like, I didn't think it would actually do that. I thought it was going to make me redo it just because I didn't get a checkpoint box. I am so glad that's a mechanic. If I would have had to redo that, that would have been so annoying. Okay. So now the stage is starting to get pretty treacherous. Definitely see that. Why is the timing suddenly... Okay, so this is delayed? Yeah, it's delayed. Wanna jump now? Get up! Okay. Oh man! Go, 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 go. Oh man. What is this? Gotta go like a motherfucker. Oh my. Checkpoint box, give me that, please. Thank you. Okay, six boxes left. I think this is the home stretch. That is... Mm. Wait a minute. Things. So, don't stand close to the edge, because there's a guy throwing a potion. Now, jump off you, kill you. Now, I need to jump as he's coming left, and then hold right, or left. There we go, okay. So that's that. Now, what's next? Oh, my God. Um... How? How? No, how? Like, what? I can tolerate this game's bullshit, but what? I'm sorry? What the heck are you supposed to do here? Like, honestly. Oh my god. What have we got? Like, no, I'm, I'm actually asking legitimately because both the platforms come out at the same exact time. You can't speed it. Like, do they want you to ho hold yourself in the air while you jump? If so, that's pretty freaking hardcore. Oh my god, they actually want you to time it so that you're only in the air long enough for your jump to last. That is... Oh man, that's dastardly. Especially since all of these other platforms have been perfectly timed for you to make perfect leaps. This actually wants you to time it just right. Too early. Okay. What have we got? Oh man, this is disgusting. I can definitely see why they cut this now. Holy shit. Whoa! Uh, what have we got? Come on, man. Oh man. Oh! 
Oh man, the timing, you have to be spot on perfect. There's not even a fraction of a space for a mistake here. It has to be flawless. Should have been it. I'm pretty sure I landed on that. Yeah, that should have been it. I'm pretty sure I landed on that. Then in the time trial, you have to do this in one shot. I don't get this jump. How is this supposed to be possible? Okay, now this is getting silly. get to the fucking jump because I keep making stupid mistakes over and over and over again just trying to get to the fucking jump. Like, come on. Okay, so apparently that time I clipped the ledge so close that I went through it. What have we got? Of course. Now this is starting to piss me off. Like, what the hell? Legitimately, how? There is no way you can hang in the air long enough to do that legitimately. That actually seems like a jump that would be easier in the original solely because you hang in the air long enough. In this version? No, that's, that's insane. then, because this is ridiculous. Okay, now I'm not 
correctly, this you can just stand on and it'll basically take you to the platform. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, come on! How close do you gotta clip that? One fucking jump is basically the only really stupid mic in the stage. The rest of the stage is actually pretty fair, all things considered. I mean, it has some moments, but other than that, I think the rest of the stage is actually fairly okay. Because this is the final jump, I believe. Yeah, you have to do that so close to the edge. Like, you can't miss it at all. to do this one basically falls into oh, fuck oh come on okay I know the truth about this this is one of those stages where you're supposed to be constantly angry and shouting out swear words and being all pissed off and stuff yeah well I can definitely see why this definitely has the qualities of a rage level but it's also fairly well built as an action platform. I got the shot. I was actually standing on that thing for a second there, and I didn't take damage, so... Glitch counter increase, because I don't think you're supposed to be able to do that. That was weird. Fuck you! Wait a minute. Oh, thank you. Give me that fucker and I am done! Yes! <laughs> oh! Woo! 101%! Yes! Finally! Oh. Well, that just leaves one final thing to do, and that's Battle Cortex as the final boss. So I'll see you guys in the next episode.